Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can. And they continue with Still Life 2. Blind. This electronic entryway has been short circuited. Maybe here in Undez's work? There's actually, well, I was about to say there's inconsistencies, but I guess he went around afterwards and cleaned up because she has thrown the, metro the mattress out of the window. Bloodstained bandages. A test is in order. Bad idea. broken mirror. Bad idea. Old photographs. Probably left by the former occupants of this house. Handcuffs. They don't have pink fur, so I'm guessing they're not for playtime. The edge of the mattress is damaged. Bits have been pulled out. Hernandez must have passed through here to escape. It's quite a fall. In the recordings, the killer has called this the Room of Death's Betrothed. That explains the dress. There's a piece of paper in the stove. This is the flyer Hernandez told me about on the phone. medicine bottles. This wasn't just aspirin. These are highly complex formulations. A receipt for medications, or rather medical concoctions. I'm no chemist, but this ain't cough syrup. The pharmacist's stamp is on the receipt. Dan Wilkinson. The pharmacy is in Holton, the county seat. The sheriff might know more. Looks like there's no water here. Terrarium. It's empty. But it looks like it was occupied recently. There are traces of food. I need an instrument from the testing kit.
Terrarium. Traces of soot. Looks like the beginning of a fire. Shit, I didn't need this. The thought of going in there gives me nausea. Take a deep breath, McPherson. It's impossible to open. This lock is half dismantled. I don't know anything about electronics. Enter the room with the charred door. It's locked. The door doesn't look very solid. Bad idea. It's impossible to open. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. I found a receipt with the address of Dan Wilkinson's drugstore in Holton. Do you know the owner? Yeah, there aren't many pharmacies in Holton. It's a small town. If you could contact Wilkinson now and question him, see if he remembers the client. Time is of the essence. The FBI's wish is my command. Show me the receipt. I'll call Dan. Dan? Hi, it's Sheriff Halloway. I'd like some information on a receipt from your store. Okay, good. Thanks for your help. Tell Martha I say hi. Dan remembers a man in his 40s. Black hair. Says he seemed nervous, kind of in a rush. It's a bit vague, but it's better than nothing. Thanks for the info. I better call Claire to give her the killer's description. No, oh, actually, uh, well, I guess it's a receipt, not a prescription. I have nothing new to tell you, Agent McPherson. So, 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 so it, it was an over the over the counter kind of purchase. I'll talk with the other guy. Uh, what's his name again? Harris. Um, found some traces, but nothing too important. I spoke to one of the cops who are searching the forest. He gave me the lowdown on Holloway. The sheriff is on edge. Elections are around the corner and she's not sure she'll be reinstated to her post. So she doesn't appreciate the FBI's arrival in her jurisdiction, stealing the spotlight. Brilliant. We got a creepy house in the woods and a shifty sheriff. Man, I miss Chicago. You're good at electronics, right? You might be able to help me. I found an electronic lock half dismantled upstairs. Come take a look. I think I might be able to open it, but it'll take me a while.
Mm, is it going to happen in real time? Or uh, should I take it as, as a clue that I should be doing something else while he's working on it? Because it's, it's a bit inconclusive. Like, the, the animation is changing a little bit. Uh, so, I'm not quite sure. Mm. If I'm supposed to... I'll get there. I just need a little more time. Hmm. Okay, it was here already, although... Oh, oh, that's just a door. Okay, the, the, the positioning of those icons is weird sometimes. Uh, I'm not sure if 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 he will be finished, you know, in real time, uh, or or m m must some arbitrary trigger uh, happen? You know, is is it scripted? I don't particularly want to go into the basement because I'm not sure if I'll be able to come back. Or will I? There's something here, but I can't see a thing in this light. Weirdo is totally in character. I'm almost certain that there's something behind this blackboard. Uh, wait, so where was it? A sentence. <sighs> Another one of the killer's delusions. This coding seems very fresh. Trying to cover up. This coating seems very fresh. What are we trying to cover up? This can't possibly work. This can't possibly work. It's not this. Mm, okay, we need to something to like scrape it off. Counting book. It seems to be from the twenties. And out of order still. This cave was used to make moonshine. Shelves filled with bottles. They look empty. Probably wouldn't find any great vintages anyway. been used in a while. A circular saw. God, I hope it's only for woodworking. Okay, I can break the other door and maybe also uh, this. But, but first, let me go up. There's something here, but I can't see a thing in this light. Well, you have a smartphone. There should be an option to use that for lighting. Oh, 
Are you done? I'll get there. I just need a little more time. Uh, okay, so in the meantime... Oh. Garris, you don't have a flashlight by any chance. Sorry, Agent McPherson. Not standard issue. I thought you were the running around the woods at night with a huge flashlight type. You know, like on that famous show. I must be watching too much TV. Oh well, I'll manage. Maybe the sheriff has one. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a bug. Because even if the room was completely dark, you would see the entrance because light would come in from where you were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, there, that this has to be a bug, which is rather unfortunate. Because uh, I don't have a save. Yeah, actually, I don't have a save at all. My, my, my last save is literally like half an hour ago. I'll save and then try reloading. But it's still completely empty on the miniature here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there has, this has to be a bug. Okay, unfortunately I have to reload and pretty much redo everything. Probably used for a surveillance camera. Hmm. I don't think I checked that before. Old photographs. Probably left by the former occupants of this house. There's something on this broken mirror. There's a message smudged on the glass. Held underground. Oh, that's actually new. Old photographs. I, I didn't find that held underground part before. Although, you know, I, I, I know that she's being held underground because I played as her. So that kind of lessens the appeal of that to a degree. Also, I didn't notice last time, but there's also blood on the tub. Hey, there are fibers in this sample. Oh. Okay, that's even better. The traces of a sterile sampling swab used by police services. Hmm, so it's almost as if the sheriff went by here before. Uh, fibers from a sampling pad. Somebody has already proceeded with analysis in this room. Yeah, okay, that's actually a pretty groundbreaking piece of evidence because it proves that she has been hiding evidence from me, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. Uh, like, don't I outrun her? Traces of soot. The thought of going in there. I'm. Um, you know, fr from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, uh, whereas she's... Lock is half dismantled. Uh, she's a local sheriff. It's locked.
Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. I found a receipt with the address of Dan Wilkinson's... Yeah, yeah. Dan. Yeah. Okay, good. Dan, remember... It's been a bit of... Hmm. Okay, so I can't confront her about possibly hiding... I have nothing new to tell you, Agent McPherson. ...about possibly hiding evidence from me. Which is pretty interesting that I can't. Found some tri Oh, but I can talk with him. Tell me, Garris, have you taken samples from the bathroom in the house? No, I was focusing on the outside. Why? Well, someone took samples there. I wanted to know if it was you. I spoke to one of the cops who were searching the forest. Shit, so You're gonna... I... F I think I might be able to open it. Okay, in the meantime, let me go to the basement. And actually, actually, uh, there are matches in the living room. Uh, which I can use those for light, right? A matchbox. I hope I won't have to use it. But I guess I need to realize the need for it first by going into that dark, dark room. something here but on the cylinder. It's a gas station in St. George, Quebec. That matches what Hernandez said. Mm, okay, I didn't find this before either. A circular saw.
I'll get there. Here. Sorry. I thought you were the running around this. I'll try asking the sheriff about concealing the evidence. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. Flashlight? I only have one and I need it. I'm sorry. I have nothing new to tell you, Agent McPherson. Okay, still can't bring it up, which is pretty weird. They simply can't use it, which is weird because at this point it has been established. Uh, it's been established pretty well that I don't actually uh, have a flashlight and I don't have access to a flashlight, so. You know, a box of matches is at least something. Although, to be honest, again, that's stupid because most smartphone, most smart, most smartphones. Damn it, English is hard for me today. Uh, actually, have uh, a flashlight. There's something here, but I can't see a thing in this light. Actually, have a flashlight that's built in in the first place. Mm. And even if not, you could... Huh, there's something here? The oil lamp's empty. I'm gonna have to fill it if I want oh. some light. Shit. I hate playing with fire. Okay, I have oil. And I don't see anything. And now I need matches to light it. That's very convoluted and stupid because, to be honest, even if my smartphone uh, doesn't have a flashlight per se, then I could use the screen itself, uh, you know, to, to set the bright brightness to maximum. Mm. I have no other choice. Set the brightness to maximum and then. Uh, just use that as you know in place of a flashlight. That's convoluted and kind of dumb. There we go. The lamp is lit. One more match and I would have cracked. This box requires an electronic key. I'd better ask Garrus. He's better at this kind of thing. I'll get there. I just need a little more time. Mm, okay, so he's still working on this one. I don't want to ask about the other one before he's done with this one. Uh, so I'll try getting in here, but before I do that, I'm actually going to save uh, just in case.
Okay, so it's a balcony. What on earth is this thing for? There's something stuck on the satellite dish. Ew, old chewing gum. This can't possibly work. This can't possibly work. I need an instrument from the testing kit. Ah, because maybe I can get like DNA from it? You know, from the saliva? Okay, I can't. Well, this was worth a try. This device can be remote controlled. It's got a box with a receiver and a USB port. Can I get any info out of this? A jamming software detector. I don't have the stuff I need to do a more thorough test. Claire, on the other hand... This is Claire Ashby. I'm not available at the moment. Please call back later. Well, Claire, are we filtering my calls? Since I don't hold grudges, I'm sending you a little gift. An old, chewed-up chewing gum. I ran a field test on the traces of saliva, but it gave no results. I hope you'll have better luck. Call me back. What? But that's stupid. How, how can you... If I, if I sent her inconclusive digital data, what more can she do with that? She would need the actual gum to conduct like some more efficient testing in the lab or something. I'm a bit confused what the game is trying to accomplish here. I'll get there. I just need a little more time. Mm. Okay, so I guess... I guess I'll be going down then and, and trying to break that other wall and he will be working uh, on this. Oh, hopefully I'll get a chance to get back. Being in an abandoned morgue. Claire would have a heart attack if she saw the state of this room. Okay, so this is the morgue from uh, the previous portion, but I will explore it next time because this episode has been long enough. So I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.